Hello, my name is Jeff Fantel, and I'm an application engineer here at Holoware. In this video, I'm going to introduce the DOE Tutor module and give a brief description on how it is used. Despite high precision functionality of diffractive optical elements, the complete optical system often introduces additional uncertainties, such as imprecise output spot size or divergence angle. This can be caused by the laser itself or by additional optics unrelated to the DOE. Therefore, it is often required to fine-tune these output parameters. Additionally, top hat beam shapers require a highly precise input beam diameter, and it can often be difficult to achieve this level of precision from a laser and a standard beam expander alone. To answer these needs, we at Holoar have developed a new module that assists in the fine-tuning of output shape size or input beam diameter. Introducing the DOE Tuner Module, an optical module meant for the fine-tuning of either input or output parameters, optimized to be used with Holoar's products. There are two typical cases in which the DOE Tuner is used. The first case is when the module is placed before the DOE. For top hat beam shapers, which are very sensitive to input beam diameter, this is done in order to fine-tune the input beam and to achieve the appropriate nominal beam size. For beam splitters, multifocal elements, and vortex phase plates, this is done in order to control the spot size. The second case is when the module is placed after the DOE and before the focusing lens. For multi-spot beam splitters, this means varying the separation distance between spots. For multifocal elements, this controls the separation distance between foci. And for beam shaping elements, such as top hats and homogenizers, the user can control the image size. Some of the technical specifications of the DOE Tuner module can be seen here on the screen. The magnification ratio of the module is between 0.8 to 1.2 times the nominal size. The wavelength range of the DOE Tuner is between 266 to 1064 nanometers. The module maintains a constant mechanical size and is easy to use. The DOE Tuner module includes several optical and mechanical features, such as very low wavefront error, sliding lenses, and very high laser damage threshold. I'd like to remind our users that there is a manual for the DOE Tuner that can be found here. The basic optical setup for the DOE Tuner is as follows. A laser, a beam expander if required, the DOE, the DOE Tuner module, a focusing lens, and then a camera at the imaging plane. Alternatively, the DOE can be placed after the module, as previously mentioned. Here we present the basic use of the DOE Tuner module. Shown on the screen is the energy distribution of a 5 by 10 multi-spot element. Here the DOE Tuner is in the minimal magnification position, or 0.8 times the nominal size. We will do a quick measurement to see how many pixels are in the image. We see that there are about 1044 pixels in the image. In order to increase the magnification, we will first rotate the ring of the module that is closer to the Holoor logo, and in this case, we will rotate it away from the user. As you can see, the image is now out of focus. In order to focus it, we then rotate the right-hand ring also away from the user. Now the image is back in focus, and we can see that the spot array is larger than the original size. We will continue this process until the required magnification is achieved. This is now currently at the maximal magnification position, and we will take one final measurement. And the reading is about 1,550 pixels. Thank you for viewing our video on the DOE Tuner module. We have seen how this new module is able to fine-tune your input and output optical parameters in order to fit your system needs. We have also performed a short demonstration in order to more thoroughly understand how to use the module. I invite you to find out more information at our website.